A serious threat to coastal ecosystems are invasive species. Invasive plants are typically very strong competitors. They have multiple ways of reproducing and they will quickly grow. They, they rapidly grow and they'll outcompete native plants. Invasive plants are a problem for shoreline landowners because invasives can come in and completely change the appearance of your shoreline. They can change the function and processes of shoreline um, ecology and they can reduce the habitat available for local wildlife. Invasive plants can actually change the hydrology of the coastal ecosystem and alter the way other plants are accessing groundwater. One of these invasive plants that has established along the Lake Huron shore is Phragmites australis, or the common reed. If the plant is left and not manually controlled in the early stages, it does have the potential to completely take over a shoreline. So it, it becomes an incredibly important part of owning shoreline on the Great Lakes to know what Phragmites australis looks like in its young stages when it is just establishing and what the seed heads look like and learn how to manually remove that plant immediately. Rapid detection, early response, and you can keep this plant off your shoreline. Other invasive species that can establish on a shoreline include spotted knapweed, giant hogweed, colt's foot, sweet white clover, purple loosestrife, dog strangling vine, and there are many others. Once you've managed to control all the invasive plants on your shoreline, you will have to return the next year to ensure that anything has, that has re-established is removed again. You must go down and look for these plants several times throughout the growing season every year. Most of these plants can be manually controlled if they are detected early enough. In order to properly identify what you think might be an invasive species, the best thing to do is contact the Coastal Center. We have several resources that can assist a landowner to uh, go through some of the species that they're seeing on their shoreline and, and identify whether they are in fact an invasive plant that should be removed. There's also the Ontario Invasive Plant Council that has a whole list of resources available for landowners looking to identify the plant and also control the plant. There's also the Ontario Phragmites Working Group which will provide excellent resources and uh, current information on the spread and control of Phragmites australis in Ontario. Managing invasive species along the shoreline is the best way you can keep a very healthy beach ecosystem that you will be able to enjoy for generations to come.